Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here as a guest designer today for Ger Steiner Designs and I'm featuring this beautiful new stamp set which is called Buckets of Love. It has lots of great cat images in buckets and fab sentiments. So what I want to do is actually um, do a row of cats, create a row of cats sitting along the top of a fence and I am using my tuxedo black ink because I'm going to be doing some Copic colouring and I am selectively stamping the images. I don't need the bucket image and some of the cats aren't quite fully out of their buckets so I am needing to sort of alter a little bit so that they look like they can sit over my fence so I do have to sort of choose which portion of the images I want to use. My colouring is going to be fairly simple today. I've decided that it would look fun it would be fun <laughs> to have each of the cats colored sort of differently and I've had a lot of cats over the years and you know you do tend to color these images in you know in the colors of the cats that you've had in your lives and so that's what I've done here so this is um, in the warm greys and I'm just doing some simple shading here and these are really cute images and I'm only bothering really to colour in the head images because I am going to fussy cut these out and I'm not going to leave a border or anything so that's why I haven't worried about the stamping. This little kitty here, um, I did want him to sit higher on the fence so I knew that I would have to cut off too much of the image so I, when I um, stamped him out I removed the edge of the bucket and to draw in the mouth I just used a Copic liner and instead of drawing a smile I was a bit worried I might draw a lopsided smile I just drew a little O for his mouth and I thought it turned out really cute. So most of the colours that I've got here I've left the caps to the sides I think I've done that with all of them and I'm just doing some simple shading each time nothing fancy. These, some of the cats are going to be sitting in front of the fence and some of them are going to be sort of behind. So the ones that are going to be behind, I, when I've fussy cut them out, I've just left a little tab at the back and that way I can easily adhere it to the front of the car, the, the back of the fence or the front of the fence. So this is my little tortoiseshell cat. And if you've ever owned a tortoiseshell, you know there's definitely personality plus these girls. <laughs> And this, um, she's obviously got a little tail and I did decide to sort of move that tail around a little because um, it wasn't going to sort of fit on the image. So I do cut that off when I fussy cut it out but then when I come back I can just adhere it on behind her. And my final little kitten is a uh, sort of a ginger tabby. And that's, I did have to elongate the face a little bit and the eyes so that you'll be able to see his face over the fence but that's really easy to do with just that um, simple sort of selective stamping. So my fence is going to be made from some design paper and this is from a paper pad from, from Simple Stories called Wood and Notebook Basics and I use this paper pad a lot it's got some great wood grains and to make it look more fancy what I've done is just come in with a Copic marker and just sort of altered the design. Now I've worked out how I want my little kittens to be sitting on the fence and I'm just going to adhere them all together now just to get this portion of my card ready. I've got my stamp runner and adding some adhesive to the tabs that are left behind those uh, couple of kittens that are going to be behind the fence or totally behind the fence and then I can just push them in place on the back of the fence. The other the other cats, I did forget to go around the edges because when you fussy cut something right up to the edge it does look better if you do run a marker around the edge. It just makes it look like you've cut right up to the very edge. So I did go ahead and do that right here and then added some stamp runner to the base of these kittens because I left their paws to make it look like they were hanging over the edge of the fence and I think that's what gave me the idea of this in the first place because of those cute little paws. <laughs> so now it's time to work on my sentiment and it's from the same set and this I want to actually stamp each of these words out separately even though they are on one stamp so I'm just 
using some post-it notes to mask off the areas that I don't want to stamp. I'm using some onyx black ink because I want it to be nice bold black sentiment and I really like the onyx for that. It's a fairly fast drying pigment ink too. So you do have to clean your stamp off very well <laughs> in between um, stamping out um, multiple steps like this because otherwise you end up with um, parts of this the stamp if they're not cleaned properly they will re-stamp where you don't want them to so this sentiment says have a perfect day and I wanted to separate each single um, sort of section I have mounted it on some white card stock just to give it a bit more support I did that with the fence as well and then I'm going to make each one a banner and to do that I cut it down find the middle and cut up to where I want the banner to be and then cut from each corner to the middle and that'll give me a banner shape and I did that for each um, portion of the sentiment and this is some Heidi Swap design paper it's a really old paper pad called Hello Today and I thought it was just really cute and it went well with the kittens <laughs> this is also another Heidi Swap um, design paper from Dreamy and I've cut this um, to fit the front of the card added some ATG and then I thought it'd be good to add some banner strings and I did draw these out with a pencil first and then I've gone over the line with my Copic multi-liner it's a point three and where I lifted my pen off here I know that's where my banner is going to be sitting so if I didn't join the line perfectly it wouldn't have mattered I did decide to add a few little bows um, where the banners are going to hit the lines and I just freehand drew those in to adhere the banners to my card front I've got some mini glue dots on a roll and also some these are some foam circles they're only a millimetre high so they don't sit really high off the page and then I can just sit them to where I've got my little um, ties <laughs> to hold my banner in place and this last yellow one here I did actually add two layers of foam behind that I wanted it to sit a little bit higher and to adhere my fence and cats I simply use some fun foam to pop them off the front of the card and my ATG gun and I was looking at the card and I just thought that it looked a bit weird not having that line go all the way across so I did come in and draw that after and that's my finished card thanks so much Gerda Steiner I've had a blast being a guest designer today and featuring the buckets of love stamp set it is so cute so till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.